the good life full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Awesome, exciting, flavorful day here in cooking and Italian with Joe's Kitchen. And uh, I'm gonna share with you uh, a recipe I had. Uh, we're gonna take a trip, all of us. We're gonna hop on a plane, we're headed to Rome. And I went down one of those side streets and we had this delicious recipe with gorgonzola or a blue cheese. Uh, and pasta. And this is one of those real simple recipes, but boy, I'll tell you, don't let its simplicity minimize the punch, the little punch of flavor that you're gonna get out of here. Now, now you can use a gorgonzola cheese, which is a type of blue cheese, Italian version, or you can use uh, a French blue cheese. There, there's a different flavor in each, so depending on what maybe is available, what you like, you know, a lot of the, like a Maytag or a, uh, a Roquefort or a Stilton, you know, that's more of a, that's more of a French style or French blue cheese. And that's made with sheep's milk, where Gorgonzola is made with, uh, which is the Italian version of blue cheese, and that's made with cow's milk. So there's a change in flavor just there. So use what you like. Use what is available and what you like. Trust me when I tell you. Whatever you use is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, guys, let's go over ingredients. All right, number one here is going to be our pasta. Now, I'm going to make it today with a fettuccine. Remember, you have so many different, right, 100 plus versions of pasta shapes. So we're going to use a fettuccine here. We got one pound of dried fettuccine, and that's going to give you a thickened, a thickened width of pasta, and that's going to give that pasta something to stick to. So that's why we're going to use a fettuccine because it's gonna be creamy and gooey. Uh, I'll tell you what else is great with this, and that is like a gnocchi would be phenomenal with this. Or again, for those cheese lovers out there, that I, you know, I'm a cheese lover, uh, if you go with like a ravioli or a, a, a tortellini stuffed with cheese, and then you put this over the top, oh, phenomenal. So you really can't go wrong. But today, like I said, we're gonna use a fettuccine. We're gonna want one pound of our gorgonzola or, uh, blue cheese, okay? So I've got one pound and I had crumbled it up. I basically crumbled up the cheese and I'll do that with a knife because I find that if I try to do it any other way, it tends to mush. Sharp knife won't do that. So I took a pound of blue cheese, gorgonzola cheese. Now I've got two cups of heavy cream. Now this is a very light, low cholesterol meal, okay? Which it ain't, but I don't care. Who cares, right? So I've got two cups of a real heavy cream. So that's gonna add that almost like a, a sauce, thick, gooey, uh, almost like a custard on the pasta, delicious. Next, we're gonna add some nutmeg. Oh God, now listen, a little bit of nutmeg, my favorite, anybody who watches our show here, my favorite spice always is the nutmeg. So I'm gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon in this, and again, it's not gonna give you enough to where you can you know, taste it as a flavor, inside your sauce, but it's gonna give you that backdrop and it adds to that complexity, gives you those little, as they call, notes of flavor. Oh, just delicious. Anything creamy, especially in the southern Italy, which was on a lot of those trade routes, you're gonna see like cinnamon and nutmeg and allspice, a lot of those different spices. So this is gonna be great. We're gonna want some black pepper. So go with the fresh ground, Every time you can do it, it always gives you a better flavor, gives you those oils of the pepper. Uh, last but not least is gonna be our olive oil. So for some of our new viewers, our hundreds of thousands of new viewers that don't know, I have, I have a farm in Italy, right in Puglia, Italy, right above the heel, and we co-op with a group of farms in that Puglia region to bring you some of the best olive oil, extra virgin Italian olive oil you're ever gonna have in your life. It's, uh, it's grassy, it's earthy, it's peppery. And I have two boys. Vito and Joe, name the company after them, and uh, you can go right on our website, Cooking Italian with Joe, you'll find some of our recipes in a blog. Uh, also, you can go right on our Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe, or Vito and Joe's Olive Oil, click buy it now, and we'll drop ship a bottle or a case of olive oil right to your house. We call it a trip daily right in the bottle. All right, let's start having some fun. All right, number one, I've got my pasta water going. So I've got this going, I've salted it appropriately, ready to go. Guys, you're gonna want a saucepan here. So I've got one of my olive clad. I've got a nice, simple olive oil spoon that I had made from one of the olive trees at our farm in Italy, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the blue cheese, my gorgonzola cheese, I'm gonna get that in the pan first, I'm gonna start warming that up in an effort to start getting the sauce going. So I'm gonna dump the whole pile of blue in there. I'm gonna spread that across, and I've got the heat really low, 
But if you look at the bottom of the pan, see how it's starting to melt? Now my blue cheese is melting. It smells like blue cheese. It's so delicious. You know, that gorgonzola, it's got that robust kick to it. It's great. You know, sometimes you'll talk to people, they'll say, hey, listen, I don't like blue cheese. Well, guess what? You don't invite those people over for dinner. You know what I'm saying? This ain't short order cook time. You're eating what I put on the table like we did at my house. Okay guys, our blue cheese is just about a liquid, right? How perfect is that? Now I'm gonna add my cream and I'm gonna slowly add my cream. Now my cream is gonna be a different temperature than the blue cheese, so I wanna temper this a little. I don't wanna add a lot of cream, even though the cream's not cold. I don't wanna add it quick because it's certainly cooler considerably than the than the blue cheese. So just slowly add your cream. And once you get about halfway in, you've brought the temperature down. You can add it a little faster. Next, I'm gonna add my nutmeg. And that's just gonna give you that beautiful backdrop. And then we're gonna cook this down for 10 minutes. So turn your heat up a little and do not leave it unattended. Next, I'm gonna add our black pepper. And you're gonna add here about a half of a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. You guys see how that cheese sauce is starting to thicken right there? So right around that point is when I want to add that pasta because I'm going to let this cook down for probably another 10 minutes or so just to get it at that perfect consistency. That way when the cheese sauce is done, my pasta will be done exactly at the same time. We got a great video on how to master pasta making. So watch it if you get a chance. So I'm gonna throw my fettuccine in there, my water salted, I put a little starch in there already, and what I wanna do is I wanna give it a really good stir, because that's what's gonna prevent it from not sticking. Don't add oil. And you figure you got about 12 minutes on the pasta to be perfect. Boy, the aroma in here with the cream and the gorgonzola cheese, delicious. Pasta's going, couple of quick tips. One, get your bowl ready here for your pasta, and I'll show you how to prep that in a second. Secondly, keep everything stirring. Don't leave anything unattended. Another tip that makes this come out like just so magnifico is if you subscribe to our channel. So there's a red button right there. When you click that, hey, any new recipes, any new blogs we got with blogging Riborio, any trips I've got with coming to Italy, it'll come right to your notification box. And uh, I'll tell you, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to the channel. And hey, it makes you part of the family. Another critical important tip here is Vito and Joe's olive oil. So you probably already got a bottle, but if you haven't, click on that buy it now button on one of the websites or the Facebook page, and we'll drop ship that puppy right to your house. That's how beautiful that sauce is. And you're gonna see, see how it's almost like a custard? Cause it's hot right now, it'll even thicken when we cool it. Look at that, perfect. Pasta's done, we're gonna take some Vito and Joe's olive oil, okay? And I'm gonna put a splash right in the bottom of my pasta dish. So about two tablespoons. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that pasta, I'm gonna get it right in there, and then give it a stir. That way nothing's gonna stick, and we're gonna add like a little adhesive to the outside of the pasta. So I'm gonna season that pasta here in a second, and everything's gonna stick. And then give this a good stir. And then what I like to do, I'm gonna use some of my French sea salt. I'm just gonna give it maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, just over the top, just to season it a bit. And definitely some more fresh ground pepper, another quarter teaspoon or so. And now guys, I've got that gorgonzola blue cheese creamy sauce. I'm gonna add it right to the pasta. And I'm gonna probably add about two thirds of my sauce here. Spread it with one of my serving spoons. So that's almost perfect. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit more to finish the top. And now I'm gonna finish it with my black pepper. So I'm gonna give it a nice good hit. Guys, you know it's my favorite time right here. So I'm gonna hit that. Look at the steam, look, see the steam coming off? And then as they traditionally do, you're gonna give it a nice little twist. And now I wanna give it a little hit of pepper. Well, look at that, is that delicious or what? We're gonna give that a nice little fork and spin. The smell of the gorgonzola, the, you know, the blue cheese, that complexity of uh, the cream, the sour, the fermentation, it, it just is delicious. And then you got that fresh pepper, you can smell the cream, you've got just the hint of nutmeg. You got everything coated here, you ready? Open up, open that puppy up, let's go. Boy, if they only had smell of vision and taste of vision, wouldn't it be great? Or transport cooking Italian with Joe vision. You guys could get right over here to the kitchen. We could have some pasta with cheese. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, pop. Mm, oh my God. Mm. The first thing that hits you, first thing is that blue cheese, just like on the nose. You know, the aroma, and then you got all those flavors, all those notes of, of the sour, the salt, the cream, and then at about 10 seconds in, now you're starting to feel a little bit of that pepper. Mmm, 
and pasta is perfect al dente. It's just, it's got that little bite to the tooth. And what starts to happen is, as you're chewing it, all the flavors enhance themselves. So you got a little bit more cream, a little bit more blue cheese, the heat of the pepper, you just start to feel that on the tongue and the back of your throat. That olive oil, the perfect amount of salt. And then right now, just, just a hint, you can just, again, those notes of nutmeg, just a, just a touch. How simple is this recipe? And just a huge bang of flavor. Wow, one more, one more. Well, I'll tell you, that is great. I'm thinking of white wine like a Pinot Grigio just to clean the palate, right? Perfect, you with me? And then for dessert, I'm just gonna go cream all out, right? We're just gonna crank up the cholesterol here, and I'm thinking uh, uh, a cappuccino with a panna cotta. You know what I'm saying? With that vanilla bean right in the back end of it. Oh! While you're sitting outside with the music and the and the sights and the sounds and the smell of Rome, just. What a great recipe. Brings me right back to that restaurant. So delicious. Guys, thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen for an absolutely delicious recipe. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Make it part of the family. Jump on our Facebook or Cooking Italian with Joe for recipes for our blog. And of course, grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's olive oil. Trip to Italy right in the bottle. We'll drop ship it right to your house. And guys, remember, shut off the TV, the computer, the electronics if not just for an hour or two, and burn things, spend some time, wreck some recipes, it doesn't matter, have some fun, share stories with your family, celebrate your heritage, and certainly set some traditions for your family. They'll last you a lifetime, I know they did for me, guys. Hey, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito. Good life, full of fun, seems to be the 